Parents, I can't underestimate the importance of keeping connected to your kids. Yeah. If you want to influence them, it's all about this connection. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, listen, I'm their parent, I'm their mom, I'm their dad. They have to listen to me. But if you don't keep a safe place where they feel that they can trust you, they might be saying yes on the outside, but they're not saying yes on the inside. So understand it again, the greater connection, the greater the influence. Now, we, we, we got to go into this now. How do we keep this connection? How do we build this relationship? I was just going to say about the connectedness. There was a study done years ago in Hawaii with a whole bunch of children, and they did this study over 30 years and looked at what helped kids succeed. One group of those kids was in a position where they just shouldn't have succeeded, mm -hmm. and they did. Did why? That's what they said, is what is it that these children have in common? And the main thing they had in common, 70% of those who succeeded who shouldn't have, had in common that they had connectedness in their life to an adult who believed in them and who expressed that and who intentionally connected with them over time. Okay, oh but you, there's lots of moms and dads saying, I want to connect. It's yeah. not that I don't want to, to connect with my kid, but it's like their connecting points keep changing. Yeah. How do I stay yeah. on top of that? You gotta you got remember though that just being the mom, being the dad doesn't make it happen. No, right? definitely. Like I have to be intentional. I mean, this, this yeah. a significant other believing in me should be the parents. It should be you and I as parents. But what happens is I get busy with life. Yeah. And, and I just kind of assume my parent, my kids will be looked after, you know, the other people can parent them mm -hmm. or, or school look after them or the TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I lose time with them. I lose contact with them just because life gets busy. Or I assume that what they're interested in now is what they were still interested in a year ago. Yeah. And that's what just keeps changing like a little Rolodex thing. Yeah. There was a, a group of kids that were together a couple of weeks ago, 20 teenagers for a small program, and in the evaluation they were asked, how many of you would like to spend more time with your parents? And these are 12 to 14 year olds, and 80% uh, of them said, oh. said more, time? more time with my parents. The question was, how, do you feel you spend enough time with your parents and would you like to spend more? I was so surprised when I saw that because I know some of these kids and I wouldn't have guessed that. Mm -hmm. They're kids who are going, yeah. get away. Okay. And it on paper, yeah. I, I want inside. more. So inside. it may not be on the outside, but inside, yeah. I want it. Yeah. Well, what, what's missing? And parents, you've got to catch this. Kids give this impression they don't need you. Mm. They give this impression that their peers and their life is more important mm. than you, but they're yearning to stay connected with you. Listen, 80%, and that's confirmed all across in all the studies, that kids still want to have connection yes. with their parents even as they get older in their teen years. You just have to change how it is. You can't control them. You've got to work with them on it and get side okay, by side. Okay, I'm hearing so loud and clear that we have got to get away from what we perceive and what we see on the outside and just trust in their hearts that want to be close to us. You also mm. said in that study, believed in. Yes. What would you guys say? How can we convey to our kids that we really do believe in them? Hmm. I think one of the ways is looking for what is good, what is right, what is admirable about them. Um, I've heard from teens through the last 20 years over and over and over. And, and this is over a span of time. This is not just teens of this generation. But over the last 20 years, the most common thing I hear is, my parents will notice everything I do wrong. But, but they don't, they don't notice. notice what I do right. And as parents will say, well, I said, you know, last week when he did that, well, I told him that. Mm -hmm. And two weeks ago, I told him this. But teens need encouragement. Children need encouragement like a plant needs water. Yeah. You know, it's not enough to can say that happened water? last week. Because you can kill plants with too much water. I, I don't mean, think you can overwater a teenager. That's the problem with some nationalities. They think if I over encourage, yes. I'm going to give fat headed kids. Yes. And it's not true. No. Keep building it in kids' lives. Matter of fact, beyond your words, you have to vote with your presence. Yes. You have to go to where they are. Yeah. Be there at their games, be at their recitals, be there at some school events. Yeah. Let them realize that you are there for them. Go with them shopping, do stuff with them, but you have to vote with your presence. And don't underestimate the value of the moments, mm. the moments on the way to somewhere. It doesn't yes. have to be an event. You yes. know, it doesn't always have to be something our family has planned to do for the last four months. Right. I've talked to parents who say, this kid is so ungrateful. I took three weeks off work and spent that entire three weeks with the kid. But what did you do the rest of the year? It's not just... And that just... was according to the mom or the dad's exactly. schedule, not according exactly. to the kid. And it's not just quality time, it's quantity time. Mm -hmm. And it's being available for when they are ready and to connect. And it's never when it's convenient. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, right. When, I, when I've got them in the car and I'm taking somewhere, that's convenient to yeah. me, okay? So I'm like, let's talk, and they are totally not in the mood. But when I'm in the middle of doing five million things, all of a yeah. sudden they're standing there with some questions, 
And I'm like, okay, now's not the time. One of the best things that Donalyn did in our home, she actually had after school snacks available as they slid into high school. Because teenagers will eat everything. Mm -hmm. And you want to bring, <laughs> no, seriously, they'll eat you out of house and home. Especially There's if they start bringing that. home some of their yeah. guy friends, yeah. right? Especially yeah. the guy. I'll yeah. tell you, you could just hoover the whole fridge if you want. <laughs> now, but understand that there's something about context. You come home, there's you know, something there to eat. Hey, well, what can I eat, Mom? Oh, she got some? Guess what? The kid hangs out and starts talking. Mm -hmm. Some of the best talks are this after school hangout time or just before bed, chat a little bit. Before bed, something that we've just discovered is I used to close the door to our bedroom when we went to bed because I usually mm. it seemed like the kids were in bed, but I'm starting to leave it open now. And our oldest teenage son, so many times before he hits his room, he'll just pop in. And all of a sudden he wants to sit and talk for a couple minutes. Yeah. It is fabulous. Okay, there's a lot of you out there. I know you're saying, I do want that connection. But you know what, there's a million reasons why it's not happening in our home right now. Go to our website, click on marriage help, and then ask a question because we care yes. about what is happening in your home. We'll try to address that question. Stay with us.